Morning, welcome again to this another series lecture about electrical wiring simulator EWS. Today we're going to perform the fourth module of our uh, software, which is the relays. Okay, so, but before we proceed with the first activity for this module, we can check the progress of our completion by looking at the profile. Okay, you can click the profile and then we can see all of the activities, the normal activities that uh, we have completed for this past few days. Okay. So you can also change the name of this uh, profile by clicking the settings. Okay, so now let's go back to the first activity of relays. Click this one. So the first uh, activity is about relay. Okay, so we will just activate the relay by uh, allowing the current to flow to its coil. Okay, click play, normal mode. So this is a uh, very similar to uh, magnetic contactors that we had in the previous module. However, uh, the application of magnetic contactors mostly is related to uh, high heavy loads such as motors, induction motors, but uh, relay are normally used in the control circuit. Okay, so uh, this relay will be the, a prerequisite for our discussion on electrohydraulic and electropneumatic modules. Okay, while well, the contactors will be used for our uh, three phase uh, induction motor activities. Okay, so uh, in this active, in this uh, electrical diagram, we can see that it is a very simple electrical diagram. So you just have the 24 volt supply, the normally open push button, and then the relay, the coil of the relay. So same with the magnetic contactor, the coil of the relay. If the coil of the relay is energized, so it means that uh, the current will can flow through this coil. Okay, so all of the normally open contact will be closed, and all the normally closed contact will be. Uh, open so but in this particular activity we will only activate the relay so we will know that the relay is uh, energized because uh, this uh, indicator here will change its color okay so now let's start wiring so 24 volts to the input of the pb2 or no normally open push button so 24 volts so this one okay and then we can Connect it here, so that's the input. So that's the wire here, 24 volts to PB2. Now from the output of the PB2 to the 13 of the uh, relay. So normally uh, the 13 is the positive and then the 14 is the negative. So why is it that uh, there is a polarity for our uh, relay here, although this is an inductor. So take note that the, most of the time there is a polarity here because uh, it will help us, this positive and negative will allow us to monitor this LED here. Okay, so it is very important to take note if there is a polarity of your relay. So the, the output of the PB2 connected to the 13. So in this particular case here, this is the, the 13, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, so by the way, in order for us to understand the, uh, the internal connection of this relay, you can take a look at this equivalent circuit here. So as what we can see, we have the 13 and 14 for our coil. So 9 and 1, that is for the normally closed, and then 9 and 5, that is for normally open. Okay, so on and so forth. So we will be using all of these uh, normally open or normally closed in the later activities. Okay, so but as of this moment, we have to connect the output of the PB2 first to the 13 of our relay number one. Okay, so 13. So the 13. And then the 14 to the, to the zero volts. Okay. So 14, this is the 14 going back to the zero or the negative. Okay, so it seems correct. Let's click the submit button and then pass. Okay, so we can now simulate this one. So as what I've told you a while ago, if you press this PB2, this uh, relay, the coil of the relay will be energized. Hence, the indicator is this lamp here. Okay, let's try to press this one. Okay, so it means that the relay is energized. Okay, if we release this one, the relay is now in the energized state. Okay, so see you in the next lecture.